It's 1963, and one of the highest rated TV shows, The Andy Griffith Show, features an episode where a bluegrass band plays a tune called Dueling Banjos. This now famous tune is often played with just a banjo and a guitar, since that's the way it was heard in the 1972 film Deliverance. Let's hear part of the opening of that tune. Did you hear that? A banjo played a short melodic idea, then a guitar repeated it back, note for note. But why did the banjo sound so different from the guitar? After all, aren't they both string instruments playing identical notes at relatively the same volume? The reason their sounds are different is due to something we call tone color, or timbre. Part of getting the most out of listening to music involves being able to hear subtle differences in timbre, as well as being able to correctly identify voices and instruments by their tone color. Please note that tone color and timbre mean the same thing, and that timbre is pronounced timbre. It is interesting that we use the word tone color when describing the unique quality of an instrument or voice, Because if you think of the different instruments of the orchestra as having unique colors, it helps you understand the art of orchestration. If each instrument has a unique color, then one can achieve even more colors by blending and mixing them, just like a painter does. You can also highlight some colors by putting them next to a contrasting color. So if a composer wants a trumpet part to really stand out, He or she may have the strings play the harmony while the trumpet plays, instead of doing the same using other brass instruments. In music, composers and arrangers often take great care when assigning certain instruments to different melodic, rhythmic, and harmonic parts. As a final illustration of tone color, I will use a piece of music I composed for a student film where I wrote parts for the violin, trumpet, and trombone. I couldn't decide if I wanted a violin or a trumpet to play the melody in the opening, so I recorded both. Here's the violin performing the melody. And here's the trumpet version. Notice how each instrument was playing the same passage, but their tone colors were different. I have taken the liberty to mix these two recordings together to illustrate how mixing these two tone colors produces its own unique timbre. Tone color plays a very important role when the music is trying to evoke specific ideas or events or used to accompany a play, a film, or a video game. If you're feeling especially tense during a scene in a horror film, chances are the film composer chose very appropriate tone colors to create such a mood. This explains why orchestras are still used today in such roles. The orchestra has been and continues to be a favorite medium for composers to express their musical ideas. Part of that reason is that the orchestra is capable of producing an almost unlimited range of tone colors, and it does it with the highest fidelity. As you listen to complex works such as symphonies and operas, pay special attention to how masterful composers utilize the many different tone colors of voices and instruments to paint us interesting pictures. Be sure to like and subscribe for more music-related videos, and as always, thanks for watching.